Good morning, dear students. I am Leda, your science teacher. Welcome back to your science class. That is chapter 4, Sorting of Materials into Groups, Part 2. Last class, we have started this chapter and discussed some topics like grouping, advantages of grouping and materials. Hope all of you understood well these topics. If any doubt, please mention it in the comment box. I will clear it at the earliest. Students, one more thing. This month onwards, your science classes will be on every Thursdays, not on Wednesdays. Today we will learn our next topic that is important properties of materials. We studied that material means a substance or thing which is used in making different objects. You know that an object can be made from different materials. For example, a spoon can be made from steel or plastic or wood. But same material cannot be used for making everything. For example, you can use fabrics like cotton, wool or nylon to make a shirt. But you cannot use these fabrics to make a cooking pot. You know very well that if you manage to make a cooking pot out of a fabric, it will not hold any liquid in it, then it will catch fire also. So we can say that the objects can be classified according to their various properties like appearance, hardness, solubility, transparency, use, materials from which they are made up of. First property is appearance. What is this? It means how the object or materials looks physically. Materials are usually look different from each other. Mud looks different from wood. Wood looks different from plastics. Some materials have shine or shiny appearance. This shine is called luster, L-U-S-T-R-E. Materials like silver, gold, copper, aluminium have a shine. Among the solids, all metals have luster. Luster means shiny appearance. But materials like wood, plastic, rubber, etc. do not have luster. They are not shining. The materials which have luster or shiny appearance used for making ornaments, you know, the chain, gold chain or silver chain, these are making from some shiny materials like gold and silver. But most of the metals lose their luster when exposed to air and moisture for a long time. Why it is happening? It is because the air and the moisture reacts chemically with them to form their oxides. For example, ornaments or utensils made up of copper, which is reddish in color, they are keeping outside for a long time. This color will change into green. Similarly, silver metal, which is silvery white, it becomes black color. But we can remove these oxides or this black color or green color by polishing and removing these oxides. Then these metals regain their luster or shiny appearance again. Examples of lustrous materials. First, among the solids, all metals have a luster. Second, amongst the liquids, mercury is lustrous. Number three, all gases are non-lustrous. Then write down these questions. Question number one. Why are gold and silver used in making jewelry? Question number two. Most of the metals lose their luster when exposed to air and moisture for a long time. Why? Question number three. Name two materials which have luster and are used in making utensils. Thank you. Have a nice day.